Hello, I'm Robbie Powell, and today I'll show you how to get started using Spread for Windows Forms from Grape City Power Tools. We'll take a look at how to open an Excel document in Spread, how to allow your end users to customize the data by dynamically adding summary rows that contain formulas and formatting, and how to provide your users a better understanding of the data by applying basic data analysis techniques through conditional formatting. Let's get started. Say you have an Excel document that contains budget data. Each person that analyzes this document must have Excel installed, right? Believe it or not, this doesn't have to be the case. Spread allows you to easily control your Excel documents and improve your user's power to interact with and analyze your Excel documents. Here's how easy it is. Add Spread to a Windows Forms project in Visual Studio, and let's add a button to the form and name it Open Excel Document. In the button click event handler, add some code to display the open file dialog. The only spread specific code is the Open Excel method. Calling the Open Excel method is all that is required to open an Excel document in your application. From the application, we can now open the Excel budget document, and it appears exactly as it did in Excel. Presented with this wall of numbers, it can be difficult to analyze the data. Let's start by looking at product sales and services sales. It would be nice to see how these revenue categories have performed month over month. Add a button to the form to perform this analysis. In the button click handler, add code to get the currently selected row and add a new row to contain our analysis. For the analysis, let's add a formula to the row to subtract the current month value from the previous month value. Select the row to analyze and press the month over month button. The formula evaluates, but the row and cell formatting is default. So the next step is to format the new analysis row. Let's assume that this row should be formatted the same as the previous row. Access the style model of the sheet and get the composed style for each cell. Spread allows for style information to be set on the sheet, row, column, and cell. Composing the style information is simply the process of combining all of these style settings into a single style object that describes the appearance of an individual cell. Directly set the style into the cell in the analysis row. Also, add a row title for the month over month analysis and set the font of the title to bold. Now with the press of one button, you've allowed your users to extract knowledge from their data. But this is just a start. The analysis data we've generated is useful, but it would be nice if the analysis could provide more details to your users to convey more information than raw numbers can. To do this, let's add conditional formatting to the analysis cells. Create name styles to represent the states of the data that we're interested in displaying. Next, create an OK style and set the back color to lime green then set the OK style conditional format to be applied to cells in the analysis row whenever a cell's value is greater than or equal to zero. This will provide us with a visual indicator that indicates each month where cells revenue is equal or higher than the previous month. The analysis runs and the conditional format is applied, but since we set the format for the entire row, it also applies to the empty cells and our title cell. So we'll perform a little cleanup by setting a conditional format for the row to set the style to null or default to all empty cells, and by setting a conditional format on the title cell to override the row conditional format. Since we're already here, let's add more conditional formats so the data can tell a more complete story. Add exceptional style, concerned style, and bad style, each with the appropriate colors. Set the exceptional style to be applied 
when the month's sales are 10% or better above the previous month. Set the concern style to be applied when the month's sales are between 5% less than the previous month and the same as the previous month. And set the bad style to be applied when the month's sales are worse than 5% less than the previous month. That single press of a button provides not only knowledge, but visualization. And since we implemented this analysis functionality generically, we can apply it to multiple rows of data. Conditional formatting is just one of the many features of Spread that make it the perfect embeddable Excel platform for your applications. As you have seen, the benefits of using Spread to add programmatic control to the data in your Excel documents can be huge providing easy to use dynamic calculations and data visualization to allow your users to transform their data into tools to support them in their decision making processes. For free trial version downloads of products or to learn more about other helpful tools from Grape City, go to gcpowertools.com. Follow Grape City on Twitter and Facebook and be sure to check out more Grape City videos to see what you're missing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and be the first to watch our new videos. I'm Robbie Powell. Thank you for watching and choosing Grape City, the world's best-selling developer components.